as human beings naturally our goal and mindset is to always uh, come out on top and become successful we always envision ourselves as becoming better individuals really successful high-end individuals and no one is really thinking about the downsides or what could happen when things possibly go wrong because naturally it's not in our mindset we just kind of let those things play out failure in itself is usually something that will motivate you to go forward so you have to have the right mindset and not look at it as a bad thing but instead you should prepare yourself to fail make sure that you are having that mindset about failure keeping failure as part of the process to go forward. Setting yourself up for failure is a mindset that a lot of successful people have where they're not even afraid to take risks and to chase their goals, chase the dreams that they envision for themselves. Because most of the times when we envision these things for ourselves, we don't actually sit down and put in the homework, put in the work we have to do, grind to pretty much build ourselves and push ourselves forward to become these things, these dreams that we envision ourselves becoming. And as artists, it might be different for each person because different artists are juggling different things like life, a child, some artists are juggling a nine to five day job with their art. So most of the time you might not be able to just sit down and actually commit to drawing, commit to putting out work as fast as other artists might put out work. So you shouldn't be comparing yourself to those artists. You should actually see that drawback as something that's happening in your life. And then you should focus on yourself and pretty much build a system where you can balance out everything you're juggling with your art and pretty much make time to sit down and actually practice if that is possible within the time constraints that you have set around yourself and your schedule but if that isn't possible maybe you might have to just pull back and step away from the art for some time and then in the long run once you have everything figured out for you once you have made a schedule that is actually working then you can come back and set out time and focus mainly on your art so instead of you just trying to juggle everything and fit everything right now and then falling and failing and stumbling all around the corner you're actually pulling back on some certain things prioritizing things that will aid you later on to accomplish your dream of creating art on a daily or weekly schedule essentially how i set myself up to failing when it comes to drawing and creating art i usually don't get attached to any of my artwork at all so the first thing i usually do is i just create a blank sheet and start working on that and whenever sometimes i push it to a stage where i know i can take this image further i can create something from this piece that i'm working on right now i usually just scrap it and then start to churn out another idea on a different piece. I might not even save that if I were drawing in Photoshop. I'll just discard it and just start doing something else. This just builds me to understand that I shouldn't get attached too much to a certain piece because I feel like the image is working or I'm drawing something that I'm usually comfortable with, with is what a lot of artists do when we're just passing time and just trying to relax. We like to fall back to a habit where we're drawing from things that we're usually comfortable with. It might be nights for some artists, it might be girls for other artists. So building yourself up to actually knowing when something is working for you and knowing when to not put too much heart into it is a really good mindset you will have to begin setting yourself up for failure and this just draws me back to talking about my favorite artist Dave Raposa he is someone that I really look up to and if you if anyone knows his story you will know that he wasn't someone that just started out having this ideal artist dream job to create art and just become really famous for making amazing fantastic work he came from a really bad place and had to start making art because he wasn't really able to move around so art was kind of a way for him to figure out uh things he could do within the time where he was constrained to just being in one place at that point it would have been easy for him to say he had failed but instead of just sulking up and beating himself up for nothing he started to figure out a way where he could pretty much uh find solutions build something that will work for him in the long run and that's how he decided to start pursuing his art gradually and just building himself up daily each day getting better with each piece 
putting in hours and hours every single day to become a better artist so this is something that you might want to do if you find yourself in a situation where you're really bogged down with a lot of things you can find a way out find a way within what you are capable of doing at that particular time to solve your particular problems don't dwell on it for too long you can just find yourself in a bad space fall into depression fall into a lot of anxiety if you're not someone that is able to control it a lot you might find yourself dealing with situations in your head where you will not be able to come out of for a long while so for people who actually have built themselves up and had the right mindset about failure knowing that it's part of the process to go forward and you still find yourself not creating the images that you're seeing your peers creating or the kind of art you want to create in your head then you will have to go back and actually sit down and take a look at your work a critical look at your work send it out to artists you look up to artists that inspire you send out your work to them and have them actually critique your work tell you what's wrong with your work and tell you areas where you should improve now this is really difficult for some people to hear but now i've had the right mindset about understanding where the person's view is coming from and then pretty much looking at it in a different light and seeing if what he's saying is right so you have to listen to what the person is saying find the areas where the person is right and then uh, filter out the parts of whatever the person is saying that you feel don't really uh, match to what you're trying to create in the long run. Artists are no superheroes or people who have supernatural powers. We're just like every other human being that lives and breathes normal air. And just like human beings, we are actually afraid of failing. But it's the fear of failure that holds us back from achieving a lot of the things we want to achieve in the long run so it's very very essential for us to get comfortable with failing all the time and if not all the time at least failing once in a while to push ourselves forward in the right direction that we want to go in the long run so if you enjoyed this video uh please leave it a like share this video with someone so we can all benefit from having the right mindset about failing, having the right mindset about preparing ourselves for success in the long run and making sure that we're doing certain things in place that will allow us move forward and achieve our goals eventually. If you're new to this channel, my name is Mohamed Akbadi. I make digital art tutorials and I review works of other amazing artists and find ways where we can learn from them and use the knowledge we have taken from their works to improve our own works so make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification icon so you will be notified whenever i make a new video on this channel and with that being said i will see you in the next video peace